Today, we're just going to talk through um, a few topics that um, parents would like to be discussed a little bit more. And just to give you an outline, going into term two, what um, is on the horizon for us. So the first thing for us is our end of term assessments. Our end of term assessments, I shared the schedule on Class Dojo um, last week. And the end of term assessments run from the 21st of November up until the 6th of December for our high school students and our middle school students, it runs up until the 30th of November. Um, the assessment material, our teachers have shared the materials onto our Google, our Schoolology now. So we have moved from Google Classroom. So initially we started the year where we used Google Classroom for the first six or so weeks. And we've made a transition from Google Classroom across to uh, Schoology. All students have been given access and shown how to access their Schoology accounts, both in class by teachers in multiple different classrooms. And I created a video and shared it with uh, parents so they could get access to Schoology to see the student side of things as well. One thing that was brought to my attention on Schoology is some teacher or some parents say that oh, I can't see such and such a class. Um, the reason you can't see certain classes is because when we go and I'll share my screen just briefly for Schoology so you can have a look at it. So this is an example of a student. OK, when a student logs into Schoology, this is what they see. OK, they will see some maybe notices that have been posted by specific teachers. If they click courses here, they only see 16 courses. OK, some students have more than 16 courses. So it's important that they click over here into the right hand side, my courses. So then they can see every single course. OK. And then once they click into these courses, material is available inside there. So if I just go into um, our language here, we can see materials are available, term one. And then we've got our material laid out in specific weeks. We are updating this. Teachers are getting more familiar with it. And we are going to use, if I go to, let me see, my science one, uh, chemistry. We're going to be using the platform to make it more simpler for students and easier for parents to navigate the system. So we're in the process of updating it and making sure that it's easily laid out. So you will see something like this going forward where you will have term one, you will have week by week materials. We've now got our end of term assessments. So we've got our revision guides in there. And then inside the revision guides, you've got the revision materials and study guides and things that are useful for the students. So we are making it so that it's laid out that all classes are doing the same thing. So that means students will be able to navigate this platform a lot easier. OK, so that's just the, the Schoology um, and what we do going forward. Um, using Schoology, we have homework. And I know parents now are asking for our homework and we want homework to be set. Homework is getting set on a weekly basis. Again, when we set homework, you will see, and I'll go back into Schoology again, you will see this on the, just admit someone there, you will see these assignments. Okay, so you can see these assignments on the right hand side. So there was T1 week 10 homework, T1 week 9 classwork. Teachers will be creating assignments on here. The reason we create these assignments are, there are three reasons. Number one is, so the students can see what homework has been assigned to them, okay? The second reason then is, so that when the student completes the homework, a teacher can input their actual grade into a grade book. If we don't create the assignment, then the students don't know where they actually have to upload the work. So that is just created. Once the student has completed that piece of homework, they can just click submit. OK, if they wish and they do no longer have to, because we want the students completing their homework now into their copy books and not on Google Forms or not on 
uh, typing it. We want them to complete their homework into their actual physical copy books. So by them completing it in their copy books, they no longer have to take photographs. They don't have to upload anything. They just have to click submit so that they let the teacher know that they've completed that piece of homework. And then the teacher, when they select in their copy books, they can then see the homework completed in the copy book. So it's important that the students start click and submit there to let the teacher know that their homework has been submitted, but they no longer have to take pictures and upload. The only reason we did that was because students weren't coming into the classrooms. So we had to get a way to actually view their work. Now students are back in the classroom 100% of the time. They do their homework in their copy books. The teachers select in their copy books and then they mark their homework inside their copy books and give them a grade on Schoology um, going forward. So that's just a quick um, overview of Schoology and how it's being used. Again, materials are uploaded on a week by week basis so that students can interact with the lessons. So I, I did say it earlier on, so term one, if I go into week nine, we will have materials there. So what they were doing in the classwork that week, they were doing um, electrons and atoms. So the materials will be available here, just like it was available in Google Classroom. But as I said, students no longer have to submit their work on a lesson by lesson or homework by homework basis. It should be done inside their copy books going forward. Um, I've just got a very good question there in the chat. We have not yet released the parent portal, okay? So when we release the parent portal, parents then will be able to see on a lesson by lesson, week by week, or assignment by assignment uh, grade for each student. So at the moment, we haven't released that. But in, September, in January, we will be rolling that platform out where parents will have access to their students' accounts, and then you will see your classwork, how much marks they got for classwork in that particular week, how much they got for a quiz or a project they undertook, how much they got for a homework they've done that week. Or you might see a blank or a zero or missing because they haven't submitted a piece of work or something like that. So going forward, we will have the parent portal, which will be available, which means students that are te parents then can um, see on a on a, a regular basis what their students are are doing okay um deadlines and the amount of homework given is good enough time to submit so what we have done here for homework is teachers we're not going to give homework today and expect it tomorrow there is always at least um a week turnaround we are going to be fair very fair with this because it's a new platform to a lot of the students as well so we need to get familiar with it. When a student hands in their piece of homework, they will get a mark for it until we get used to using this platform. So deadlines, deadlines for homework, they are set, but teachers are lenient once students hand that piece of work in because we want to get them making sure they're getting on top of homework. Okay. Um, the next thing I want to just talk about is our is our um, assessments that are coming up, okay? We've got our end of term assessments. The end of term assessments are not a, um, are not the be all and end all, okay? They are assessments that we need to do to check again where the students are at. But the majority of the work that students do from week to week, lesson to lesson, plays a big role as well. The assessments are a little part of a whole pie, okay? So we will provide, and we have provided um, study guides for our parents. We've posted the study guides out to Schoology because that's it's more so for the students. We need the students to interact with it. When students go into grade six to grade 10, we want them to take more responsibility over their work, okay? So we're trying to get them to take more responsibility over their work. Um, the assessments, we've got study guides, but the best revision resource any student can ever have is their own actual physical copy book. Because when I'm making notes or anyone else is making notes, I will take down something totally different to you. You will take it down different to me. I will take it down in a way that I will understand it that little bit easier for me. Sometimes like we can give you all the presentations that we've been working on for the last three or four weeks or the last six weeks, but there's maybe 10 or 15 slides. 
And you're not going to get through every single bit of that when you're revising. We can't give you specific questions either because the assessments are taken over the last uh, 10 weeks and they are created for all four of the LE schools. So all four of the Lee education schools are taking the exact same assessments. So it's not the English teacher who's setting it. It's not the maths teacher who is creating it. We've been creating it as a whole Lee education. And we have then taught the standards from our curriculum and delivered them to you and to the students. And from there, the assessments are built on that. So it's, a, it's the material that's been covered over the last 10 weeks. So we have covered that material over the last 10 weeks. And that's the material then that can or possibly could come up in the assessment. We can't give specifics and say fractions is definitely going to be on that study that. We can't give that. And students need to get used to this process because when they undertake their MSATs or their assessments when they're going into colleges or trying to get ready for colleges, it's going to be a very broad, broad assessment. We can't pinpoint exactly what's going to come up. So we need to get them ready for these generic math assessment that we'll undertake or English assessment. We will provide study guides. We have the materials uploaded from week one to week 10. But from there then, it's up to the students then to engage with that on a regular basis to make sure that they're getting an understanding and that they feel confident in going into the lessons. But also on that, all of the teachers this week have been running revision sessions in class. They have been going over materials that they've covered over the last 10 weeks. They've dedicated lessons this week specifically to the material that they've covered already this term. So they're making sure that the students are feeling confident. And then this is giving the students an opportunity again to ask a couple of more questions. If they're unsure of specific areas, teachers can do that reteaching now to ensure that they've covered every single aspect and that the students are feeling confident going into these assessments. Um, there's just been a couple of comments there in the, the, okay, I will address the, I will address those comments at the end. Um, thank you for writing them and you can keep writing messages to me and I will follow up with all of those messages. The next topic then, I've discussed our assessments, I've discussed our Schoology and I've discussed homework. Another thing is just our continuous assessments. Okay. We don't want to be a school where we're doing specific exams every single week and the students get tired of doing assessments. We are continuously doing continuous assessments, whether that's a quiz, an exit ticket, a Kahoot, um, an end of, end of topic uh, review. These are happening in class all the time and these are getting graded by the teachers at all time. Um, so all of this information is always being assessed. The reason we don't go and say, OK, we're going to do an assessment now in week four is because we can all study for an assessment, but that won't give the teacher a clear picture of what the students actually understand. By us doing these in-class assessments on a regular basis, the teacher gets a very good understanding of what areas they need to understand or re reteach and what areas they need to address. It also helps them in their planning then to differentiate the lessons and also target specific students in areas that might need development or specific students who are at a really, really high level and need that bit more challenge. So we do these continuous assessments. But if we were to notify you that we're doing an assessment every single week, then you'd have your students at home getting ready for these exams. They'd probably perform really well, but they're not retaining that information. And that's what we're looking for in students is that retention of actual information to ensure that they can do an assessment now and that same assessment, they can do it again in eight weeks time and still get the exact same results or an even better result because they retain that information. But us just guiding them towards, OK, we've got a quiz now. The reason we do those quizzes is to understand where we need to reteach and what we need to develop inside our classroom or what areas we need to target with students. Um, the next topic I'm going to touch on is our morning assemblies. We've started doing morning assemblies. We obviously had COVID times and we couldn't do these morning assemblies or hold whole class or group assemblies. So we've started doing these now again in the morning. And these assemblies are a very important time for us as a school to address topics that are coming up 
or topics, things that are happening across the whole school. It is very important that we have students down in the mornings to represent the school, raising the flag, singing the national anthem. But we also address important issues such as behaviour around the school and things like that. So these are things that we are addressing on a daily basis when we get, when things are brought to our attention, we all automatically address those in incidents in the morning in our morning assemblies. On Monday there, we had our odd socks day because we have anti-bullying week going this week. Um, next week, we're going to run a, because the World Cup was starting, we're going to get the students involved in the World Cup and we're going to run like a jersey day and we're going to assign each class uh, football team to follow and just get that excitement around the World Cup and things like that too. So we address these kind of uh, holistic uh, things in the morning uh, during our morning assembly. So all students are involved in hearing all these different materials that are happening across the school, what's important for them and what's going on and so on and so forth. Um, the last thing then is I'm going to pass over to Miss Hibba and she can address a couple of things uh, regarding the Arabic subjects because I've, I've primarily just spoken about maths, English and science. Um, I should have asked at the start that we'd need a translation, but I apologise for that. Um, Miss Hibba can touch on any areas there that I've addressed as well. My apologies. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Thank you. Okay. أنا بس حأعيد يعني مختصر اللي قاله مستر مارتن ونحن طبعاً كنا أول شيء على جوجل كلاسروم على كلاس دوجو هلا كل الشغل اللي عطوا الطلاب عم ينتقل والشغل اللي بيعطوا المدرسين عم ينتقل على سكولوجي ومثل ما فرجيكم على سكولوجي كل طالب أوردي عنده أكسس للبلاتفورم وأنتم كأولياء أمور إن شاء الله بشهر واحد لما نرجع من الإجازة حيكون عندكم أكسس على سكولوجي تقدروا تشوفوا علامات اولادكم تشوفوا الهوم ورك الكلاس ورك الاساينمنت اللي عم تنعطى من اليوم ورايح بالشغل على سكولوجي الطلاب ما بيحتاجوا انه يبعثوا الاساينمنت اونلاين بس بيعملوا سبمت بيقدر المدرس يشوف انه الطالب هذا اشتغل على الاساينمنت المفروض الاساينمنت تنعطى بالدفتر يعني المرجع الاخير بالنسبه لاولادكم ولاقيكم هو الدفتر وطبعا هو مرجع المدرس ليصحح الشغل اللي عم ينعطى وهيدا انا بحكي عنه بكل المواد سواء المواد العربية أو المواد الأجنبية. آه ومثل ما شفتوا إنه بتقسيم السكولوجي بداخل بيكون في فولدر اللي اسمه ترم 1 بقلب الفولدر بيكون في الأسابيع اللي هن الطلاب أخذوها نحن غطينا مدة 10 أسابيع بكل أسبوع في المواد اللي أخذوها خلال هذا الأسبوع وهيدي المواد اللي هي كلياتها انحطت لتنعطى بامتحان آخر الفصل وامتحان آخر الفصل آه هو معد من قبل ليوا مدارس ليوا يعني نحن مش مدرسة ليوا المشرف هي أو المدرسين هن اللي بيعملوا أو بيعدوا هالامتحانات، الامتحانات معدة من السبجكت ليتس تاعو المدارس ليوا بكل مادة، نحن طلابنا بيمتحنوا فيها بنفس الوقت اللي بتكون مدارس ليوا كلها عم تمتحن، يعني هو امتحان موحد. وهذا الأسبوع نحن طبعاً المدرسين عم يشتغلوا مع الطلاب على المراجعات داخل الصف، فإذا طلاب في أي شيء ما فاهمينه فين يسألوا المدرسين عنه يرجع ينعاد الشرح لإلهم. اوريدي رح تكون انتم الجدول، اوريدي رح تكون المواد المقرره لهدول الامتحانات. بالنسبه لل طرح نقطه مستر مارتن هي نحن ما عندنا ويكلي اسسمنت لسبب انه نحن كمدرسه سياسه المدرسه ما بيكون فيها تقييمات بشكل اسبوعي، تقييمات بحيث انه نحن بنعلم اولياء الامور فيها، لا نحن التقييمات عندنا هي تقييمات مستمره من بعد ما خالص اذا كان وحده ولا درس هذا التقييم عم بيصير. وعلامات طلابكم كلها بتشوفوها اولادكم بتشوفوها بالسكولوجي لانه اوريدي بتنزل بالجريد بوك تاع الطلاب لانه نحن ما بدنا الطلاب انه يتعودوا في امتحان نحن بس ندرس للامتحان اذا بدنا نرجع بنساله بالماده بعد الامتحان بتكون الماده راحت من يعني خلص الطالب نساها فنحن بدنا نتفادى موضوع انه الطلاب ما يتاسسوا مضبوط او ما تكون المهارات عندهم مثبته فنحن ما عندنا موضوع التقييمات المستمره بشكل اسبوعي او الامتحانات نحن عنا تقييمات مستمرة وامتحان آخر الترم. والسبب إنه يعني نحن لما نعمل هاي التقييمات المدرسين بيقدروا يعرفوا وين نقاط الضعف وين نقاط القوة عند الطلبة يشتغلوا على أساسها إن كان من ناحية تحضير خطط لإلهم أو يشتغلوا على أهداف تعية الطلاب، بالنسبة نحن طبعاً عملنا امتحانات امتحان الماب، عملنا امتحان التشخيص أول السنة، فالمدرسين عندهم فكرة واضحة عن مستوى كل طالب وشو الأشياء اللي لازم يشتغلوا عليها والتقييمات هاي بتساعدهم. انه يعرفوا وين اكثر يركزوا على الطلاب داخل الصف. 
لانه احنا طبعا بلشنا الطابور الصباحي من فتره والطابور الصباحي هو جدا مهم لان كمدرسه حتى نقدر نحن نخبر الطلاب على الاشياء اللي بدنا اياها من كان ناحيه كنا عنا مثلا يوم العالم من التحضير لهلا الناشونال داي من من ناحيه السلوكيات اللي احنا بدنا اياها بالمدرسه من ناحيه السياسات المتبعه فاي يعني اي ايشوز عم تطلع عنا نحن اوريدي بالطابور الصباحي عم نتكلم فيها مع الطلاب. آه وطبعا يعني هذا الاسبوع نحن عندنا الانتي بولينج ويك الاسبوع التنمر ونحن طبعا عم نشتغل مع الطلاب عم بيكون في كل يوم في سيشنز عم تنعطى بالاوديتوريوم آه على كيفيه الابتعاد عن التنمر يعني والتعامل مع الاخرين آه وكان عندنا اليوم جاست سبيكر من يعني آه من برا المدرسه حكي كمان مع الطلاب وعندنا انشطه عم تنعمل واشياء كلياتها بوستد على الكلاس على الكلاس دوجو لاولياء الامور. إذا طبعا في أي أفكار من من عندكم نحن طبعا بنرحب فيها. هاي بي يعني بمختصر الأشياء اللي نحن حبينا نغطيها معكم اليوم بهيدي السيشن. هو سيشن لأنه نحن إجينا بعض الملاحظات من أولياء الأمور حبوا يعرفوا أكثر عن طريقة التقييم وكيف تحضيرهم لهيدول التقييمات لآخر الترم. حبينا نعمل هذا السيشن معكم لحتى نوضح لهم هاي الأمور أكثر. يا. أوكي. سو ميرنا ذير هاز جست sent in a message there and thank you for the comment um the assessments that are happening in class okay i know you would like to see um a little bit more feedback we are writing feedback into the copy book so in maths and english and science you will see comments from the teachers but i i, I messaged someone else back there once the parent portal becomes live when we do a quiz and the score gets put in there for it you will automatically see the scores Uh, the student scores whether that's a four out of ten ten out of ten eight out of ten you will see that and then you can then make that communication log with the teacher to see okay what can we do then to support so and so or get that grade a little bit higher um the revision so again we could give you specific revision sheets but we don't know exactly well we do know what exactly is coming up we know that the competencies from week one to week 10 is going to be on that assessment but we don't want to narrow down and say okay if you follow this revision sheet that you will do very well on the assessment because there could be something then that we miss out on on that revision sheet and then it leads to the student not knowing that question so we can only go on what is going to we know for definite this is the standards and these are the powerpoints And I know some teachers have set up on Study Island and Exact Path and Can Academy specific assignments for you. We have guided you towards the correct areas, but the best, the best place for a student to revise would be their copybook because they've taken their notes. And I don't want to go, okay, if you focus on this worksheet, then you're going to do an excellent exam because then a question might come up that's outside that worksheet. And then the student will be like, well, sir, you told us only to concentrate on this. And now this has come up. We know that the standards and the standards are quite broad. And we've covered a lot of material over the first 10 weeks. And I don't want to just go, this is all we're going to have the assessment on. Because I don't want to lead a student down a path where, okay, they can't actually answer something. So, and like I said, this is preparing them for when they do IMSATs, when they do um, advanced placement courses. They won't be told exactly what's going to be on an assessment. It'll be exactly what's covered over the whole course. So they need to get used of, okay, where do I focus my time? Where do I spend my time when I do my revision? Um, okay, let me see. There was another. Okay, thank you for the explanation. No problem. Okay, homework. Any more homework is to be done in the copy book, okay? Students should do their homework into the copy book. And all they have to do is simply at the top of the page, label it homework and the date, and then the teacher will correct it. They might not correct it exactly the next day, but within that week period, the teacher will correct it and then give a grade, okay? Homework might be set on a Monday. It could be the next Monday before it's corrected. It's not going to be corrected automatically in, in the next day because we set homework on a Monday. We give the students a week to get it done. The teachers also then need a, maybe a few days four or five days to get it actually corrected and marked and so on. But homework now should be done in the copy book and there is no need for them to take pictures or anything like that to submit online. They do not need to submit online. It's in their copy book anymore. 
we only did online was because we were on distance learning and we weren't actually seeing the students face to face. Now we're seeing the students on face to face. They need you to complete their cop or homework and their copy books. Um, for uh, yes, grades. So all grades now are getting updated and uploaded onto Schoology, and that is for all subjects. Every single subject, this will apply. This new platform, it will be applied for all grades. It will be utilized differently in elementary and KG, but um, this is for middle and high school. But middle and high school, it will be utilized definitely. In elementary, they're going to transition from posting little things onto Dojo. Everything will be on Schoology as well. And Ms. Ivona will contact um, or let the students know how to log in and things like that. And she is rolling that out over the next couple of weeks. And we will work as a team to get that out to you as well in elementary. But it will we be... We will have... Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Martin. We yeah. will have a session for the elementary parents with Ms. Ivona. Yeah. It will be rolled out to all, all grades. Um, okay. KG students, yes. KG students will use Schoology, but again, they will be using it in a whole different manner um, in comparison to what elementary and high school. And again, Miss Niasha will be available on hand to assist you with the transition for that. Going forward, yes. Schoology is where all materials um, Google Classroom will basically become redundant because every single thing will be going on to Schoology going forward. So it is Schoology. We've transitioned from Google Classroom to Schoology because it tracks their grades. Parents think can see their grades. So that's the reason we've invested into the Schoology platform because parents have that better interaction with it. They'll be able to see scores that they get and things like that. So we will be transitioning every single thing away from Google Classroom. And in, in upper school now, in middle and high school, we've basically stopped nearly using Google Classroom and the majority of stuff is on uh, Schoology at the moment. Um, no, homework roughly, and this is not set in stone, okay? Teachers assign a piece of homework depending on what the piece of homework is. So for example, in chemistry there a few weeks ago, I set a piece of homework and it was a project. I gave the students 10 days to do it, okay? Some teachers might go, oh, here's your piece of homework on Monday. It's due next Monday, but it will at least be a minimum of seven days. So they'll have a week. If it's set on Monday, it might be due the following Monday. If it's set on Monday, it could be due the following Wednesday. We're not going to say, okay, the cutoff is it's set on Monday, it's due Friday. We're not putting that amount of pressure on students because they get homework in multiple different su subject areas. They might have science, maths, Arabic, English, and that's a lot throughout the week. So we do give them grace time and we do give them a specific period of time to try and get that homework in. And of course, if a student comes and speaks to the teacher and goes, sorry, sir, I'll have that homework for you tomorrow. We are very lenient. We're not trying to deduct marks. We want to give marks as much marks and as, as positive as we can to the students. So. Once they hand it in, the students will then assess it and will re-input a grade for that piece of um, work that's uh, submitted. Um, Miss Yusra, have you got a comment if you'd like to type it in the chat? Because I'm getting messages through here all the time. Um, good question there. Okay. Class Dojo, we are continuing to use. Class Dojo is still going to be there for our communication for um, definitely all of term two. It will be there for our communication, such as our timetables, such as school letters, such as our science fair, and any of those whole school announcements, kind of that, announcements that are happening. Schoology will be used for that because it's very important that the, that is there to communicate with parents. It is our communication platform. So if there's an update, like I sent out the LEA assessment manual, things like that will still be communicated to the parents um, on on um on Schoology. Once Schoology is available to the parents, the parent portal, yes, we will start uploading timetables. Announcements will come through that portal as well. So you will see timetables there. You will be able to access your own uh, your own students' timetables, your own uh, child's timetables there. So you can see when they have certain lessons, what lessons they have at what times in the day, and so on. Once that parent portal is visible to you, you can see the students' schedules 
and all that. But we will make the announcements on both places until with that whole transition, just so we don't miss out on anyone. But also those very, very important messages are sent out through email as well. Any messages from the principal or anything, like we sent out the LEAT assessments as well, guide there yesterday through email. So those emails will be very important, will be posted through email as well. Uh, I just want yeah. to clarify one thing, Mr. Martin. When we are, because one of the comments that we received is that we're receiving um, from multi resources, from multiple resources, whether it's by Schoology or by Class Dojo or by email. When we send emails to the parents, we only use send emails of important things. For example, the LE schedule, the uh, the assessment schedule. If it was sent to you by email, to ensure that all the parents have received it. We will not be sending by email all the things that we announce on Schoology, only important things that we want to make sure that all the parents have received, we send it by email. If there are any other questions, you can um, add them into the chat. We'll give another two minutes. I'd like to thank everyone for coming today. And I will share the recording of this meeting with everyone so that um, it's available and anyone can interact with it at any time. And again, if anyone has got any questions, um, I am available. Did Mrs. Yusra, did Mrs. Yusra ask? No, I haven't got anything in the chat. I am available um, through Class Dojo. Ms. Hib is available through Class Dojo. And all teachers, the teachers are all available through Class Dojo as well. If you send them a message, Sometimes, okay, we just we have to be lenient at times because some days teachers do teach seven lessons back to back and have um, a break duty or things like that. But they will, they do try and get back to you within that twenty four hour period. And if if they don't, um, if they don't get back to you, I will always be there to assist um, on those matters. So if anyone has any other questions, just let me know. We're in the left. Okay. Um, let's come here. Um, Yes, for the final assessments, for the final exams, please, we need the answer. We, we can't give you the answers for the final exam. The teachers, the um, revision guides that they've given, um, I know in math, Mr. Leem has posted answer sheets as well. So he has posted, say, adding fractions and multiplying fractions. And then there's an actual answer sheet available there beside it too. Um, I will speak to other teachers as well to give if they have given specific questions, they can give you um, answer sheets as well. If the students complete something at home, they can bring it in because this week we are doing revision sessions. If they bring it in from home, the teacher can go through it with them in class and check their answers to see how, how they've done. So we can do that as well. Okay, again, I'd like to thank everyone for attending today. I will post the recording. And if anyone again has any other questions for me, please um, contact me through Dojo and then I can I can assist you in whatever, wherever you have any uh, concerns in that. Thank you very much.